Good morning and welcome to the Rate Update with Dan Frio. I am Dan Frio and this is your opening bell. You're probably thinking, Dan, I thought you were on your way to Florida. I was, but the news is just too exciting to leave. Now nah, between me and you, my flight got delayed. So I was able to do the morning alert. So let's get into what's coming in so far today. So we have the jobs numbers coming in good. Companies added 455,000 jobs in March, slightly more than expected. So that news you would think would be good for the stock market. Maybe not so good for the bond markets and MBSs because it's, it's still fueling more and more and more growth in the economy, but I'm okay with that part of it. And then the next piece of the puzzle, you're gonna see home prices moved up even faster in January despite higher rates. Well, the most of the rates haven't been baked in yet. Okay, so but when they do, um, you're going to start seeing house prices or at least houses starting to stabilize. All right, so I just posted an article through my social media. Please check it out. But the good news here is here's basically what's going on with the housing prices. And then it gives you some core logic information. And then down through the bottom here, it says the houses are appreciating and excel they actually accelerated in uh, December. While rising rates have rarely resulted in home prices dropping, the big spikes do eventually tend to show up in the form of deceleration. So let's see uh, on the charts here, kind of what happened in the past few cycles that we saw this. So you're going to see through here um, that home prices this is this section right through here the blue lines let me explain that to you right through here the blue lines are the uh fhfa nationwide and the the k shiller index is the home value so breaking this down fhfa is just think of mortgage rates and then home values okay so when you go down through here mortgage rates kept spiking and spiking and spiking then when they peaked you saw home prices start to decelerate Okay, again, through this cycle here in 2018, this was 20, about 2013, 2014. And then the rate expectations or the rate jumps that we're seeing so far, they're basically down, they're showing you here the projection that will eventually move up to this category. So what areas or how much of a decline are we going to see? But the good news here, if, you, if you're saying, see, Dan, I told you everything's starting to, going to start to crash. Well, let's read this basically verbatim. For the sake of clarity in the spirit of avoiding confusion, please keep in mind that the chart above conveys home prices in terms of year-over-year -year change. Anytime the lines are above zero, lines are above zero, prices are increasing. In other words, the highlighted mortgage rate spike resulted in prices decelerating, not decreasing. So the takeaway there is they're not even with the rate spikes there's no expectations of a market crash. So that's just a little bit more information out there for those out there that are concerned of a housing crash. So let's get on to why you're here today. Well, based on all this news, what are we seeing in the MBS market and in regards to mortgage rates? Well, first off, let's check the economic calendar. So let's recap a little bit of the information that we got yesterday. Uh, we have consumer confidence, which was up. Not much, but I'll, I'll take it. We had the Jolt Index job openings came in 11.2 million job openings. So far today, we saw the ADP payroll numbers. Last previous number was came in at 486. The forecast was 450 and we came in at 455. But ADP is wrong. I hate to say it most of the time. So we'll check out uh, some of the news that's coming in on Friday in regards to the, the employment numbers, unemployment rates, and so forth. But I'll, I'll show you that down below. Crude oil inventories is coming in uh, here shortly. That is going to help us keep a gauge on where energy prices are. And then tomorrow we're going to see initial jobless claims, how many people filed for new claims. And then on Friday, this gives us a whole snapshot of what's going on with employment. So we got non-farm payrolls, the unemployment rate, and then we also have the manufacturing index. So that a lot of news packed into the week. So where are we? Where is this news taking us? Well, first let's look at the MBSs. Why do we look at this? Well, it's it gives us a gauge on what's going on with mortgage rates. This is the one major component of your mortgage rate. So the yield on the MBS, the bond, the mortgage-backed security is the biggest component of your mortgage rate. So I just want to get that straight. As this number here goes down, that means the prices are going down, means the rate or the yield is going up. Okay, so we don't like when this number is red or down. We love the greens. Why? Again, as the price goes up, yields come down. So far today, we're seeing a uh, move slightly negative, but we're in a neutral range uh, so down through here. So if you see this trend, um, I love when it's way over to the positive side, but we're kind of in the middle right now. 
um, and it's it's saying it's moving down slightly. So that's its temperature in the markets. So where are rates? Where did they open or where did they close last night? Where are they opening this morning? Well, we got right here and we're getting some good signs here. Um, we spiked from 3% to basically 5%, which in, within about a 60 day window. And I'm going to do a report on that uh, this weekend. But you're seeing where rates are coming in right now nationally. This is a post by Mortgage News Daily that we review every day. I'm just giving you a bead or a guideline on what's going on with mortgage rates. So let's go across the bottom here and just explain what's going on and to read this. And I'll show you, I'll, I'll talk in our lingo so you get it. All right, so right now we see the 30-year fixed rate up seven basis points to 4.88, coming in with a 0.4 in, in uh, points that would need to be charged. So let me dissect that real quick. That means today's rate is 4.88. It is down 0.07 from where we were yesterday, and it cost you just shy of a half a point to get that rate. So a lot of times if you take out the fee to buy down the rate, this rate would be at five. So we're still in the five range if it doesn't cost you anything. All right, so then we go across to the 15 year. We're down one basis points to 4.22, also coming in with a cost. We got the 30 year fixed uh, FHA slash VA. These are the government sections of the, the report coming in at 4.44, down two basis points. The 30 year jumbo down two basis points to 4.19 and the stagnant arm rates and i'm still really dissecting this for you guys to be able to present these offers for you but they're coming in at 3.95 and that also is coming in with a half a point so if you bake this into it you're probably at 4.125 at least on this rate okay so that's what's going on there so that is my report for today guys i greatly appreciate you guys watching uh my flight is late this afternoon so i won't be posting the video today but i will be back tomorrow morning to give you a recap of what happened the rest of today based on a lot of this news and i got some special reports i'm coming up with tomorrow too uh, but i'm not sure if i'm going to do my youtube live i will be posting that later today to let you guys know uh, if i will be doing that tomorrow or not so thank you so much for watching god bless give me a thumbs up if you don't if you don't mind subscribe down below love to hear from you guys I am Dan Frio. I'm the one of the largest, I joined the largest brokerage uh, in the whole country just several months ago. To why is to help you guys all throughout the country find the best program, the best rates at the lowest cost for you. So check us out at therateupdate.com. Love to see you. Bye-bye.